What's up guys, finally back with another review and I have for you the Spider-Man goggles from Avengers Campus that I showed you guys from my Avengers Campus vlog. Now the only way I found out about these was because I actually saw somebody wearing these at night and the eyes were lit up and it was just the coolest thing I've ever seen. So I was just like, you know what, I need to get me some. And so I got some and now let me go ahead and show you why they're so cool. All right, first off, I wanna show you the tag and one thing I do wanna point out for you people who are going to Disneyland is that this actually comes taped up like this and sealed and because of that you actually can't try it on which is a great thing so you don't have to get nasty other people's eye grease face grease on it so that is a plus if you see this tampered with just pick a different one now first off with this you can see that there's 17 different digital expressions which I will show you and then also on the back here you can see that it's $50 which is like whoo but you know what why not and then it shows you the different button pushes which I'll show you and it has an auto off timer like three to five minutes I've never tested it but Sure. All right, and now getting to the goggles. It comes with these nice little plastic protectors for the eyes. I will peel them off right now. I do recommend, though, that if you're at Disneyland to save these or possibly just leave them on during the entire time because what I have found is that... Come on, get this off here. Is that these actually scratch pretty easily and when you try to wipe them, it's that very dry kind of mirror finish. So when you try to wipe it, it kind of scratches a bit as well. So definitely be careful on that. All right, and there are the goggles with the protectors removed and the shiny mirror eyes shown in everything. Now, just before I get into everything else, I will let you know you can see through them and you can see through them pretty well, actually. So let's go and take a ring around here to take a look at the entire goggles. All right, starting with the left side of the goggles here, you have hard plastic that are silhouetting the typical Spider-Man eyes right there, as well as the shiny lenses, which shine a lot better when you cover up the back. Then you have hard plastic there as well. Then on the sides, you have this pivotable little thingamajiggy here that helps it to adapt to your face. And on the right side, you have the activation button, as well as a cord that goes all the way to the battery pack in the back says web right there worldwide engineering brigade and then you have the back right here which is the battery housing and it houses three AAA batteries which are already included which is great and the top right here is the activation switch and then going around the other side it's the same as the other side except there's no button on top and then it's all connected by this nice kind of ski goggle type band there and it stretches decently as you can see this is already maxed out in its adjustment right there as you can see and if you have an adult head it is pretty tight such as mine but it's still doable but if you have a Ben Affleck size noggin then these may not be for you now the inside here is actually made of nice and soft rubber which is nice it's nice and comfortable it's hard plastic here but then you have soft plastic here that goes all the way around that covers your eyes then you got the slits on the inside which is actually very easy to see through once your eyes are really up close as you can see once you get really close those little slits work out pretty well and you can see nice and easily right through the goggles so it's pretty awesome and one thing I do want to point out though is that these goggles do not pivot outwards so that this this does kind of doesn't sit so well like it'll kind of sit on your eyes right here and then you have this little gap right here so it's, uh, it's still decently comfortable. All right, and as for activation, you simply flip the switch on right here. There is no pull tab or anything, which is nice. It's just ready to go. Then you have the activation switch right here, and there's only three presses that matter. The first press lights up the eyes completely, and then they stay fully lit, as you can see. And even in this brightly lit studio I have here, you can still see the LEDs, so the LEDs are very bright. You push it again, and then it starts cycling automatically through all 17 different I thingamajiggies, digital expressions, but if you press it a third time, it's kind of it goes into the just selector mode, and every time you press it, it just simply goes through the different expressions. Once you hit number 18, it just shuts it off. And let's go ahead and take a look at the expressions with the lights off, preferably. All right, the lights are off, and here we go. Let's light it up. Now you will notice a little bit kind of a Moyer kind of pulsatingness. It's actually just the camera. In real life, it's solid and very white as you can see it's just I can't seem to lock down the shutter speed to stop it from flickering it's just it's very finicky with cameras but anyways we'll go through that and now we are in expression selector mode this is actually number two number one is the full lit up eyes you can see it's kind of like squinting angry then number three has got the winky one which is pretty cool 
Number four, Sleepy Eyes, I guess, something like that. Number five, this one's my most favorite. It just blinks constantly. Then number six here, <laughs> this is kind of funny. It's kind of fun, little squirrely eyes, you know, like Mysterio just knocked him out or something. Number six here, he does kind of a, uh, like, eh? And then number seven, oh geez, I lost count. Anyways, I think, and I don't know what this one is. Number eight is really sad, Spidey. So yeah, don't don't be sad, Spidey, unless, you know, you can't get your churro or something, then you can be sad, Spidey. And then number nine here is just kind of like, another sleepy spotty I'm not really sure what that was supposed to be it, you guys can tell me number 10 here is kind of angry twitchy eye right there number 11 is not really sure waking up spidey something like that number 12 is superstar spidey this is if you see like Captain America or something at the at the Disneyland and then number oh, I lost count <laughs> Number 12, 13, love eyes, as if you see a crush or something like that. And then the next one, 14, I don't know what that is. And then 15 is just like spazzy, he's had too much, you know, Red Bull or something like that. Number 16, nope, nope, that was, that was the last one. Okay, I lost count, but yeah, that's it, that's all of them. All right, and now we're gonna go and try them on for you. We're just going to pull this up over the head like so. You can have this go over the ear or, or over the ear or over the ear. I guess it's kind of both the same. Anyways, that's what they look like on your head. Looking pretty awesome. I can see really easily with these, which is great. And we're going to turn it on and see if, if you can see the lights even with the studio lights. And yes, you can. And that is what it looks like. Pretty awesome. And what's great is if you happen to have a baklava, which I do, all right, and here I am with my baklava ready for infiltration. And of course, when you put it on with the baklava, <laughs> this cool thing with this up here, it looks 10 times better. Make sure I adjust that make shit nice and straight. And there you go. Now I am Spider Monkey. <laughs> Gonna turn these lights on right there. And it looks really awesome with the baklava, as you can see. Let me see if I can go into the wink mode here. Get my favorite one. There we go, wink mode. Anyways, as you can see, it looks really great when you have the baklava on. And as I was saying too, the way it sits is there's a nice big old gap, as you can see right up here. Great for big noses or just big faces, I don't know. And it mainly sits down here on the face and also up here and then it just kind of hovers up here. Which is actually a good thing because it actually allows the goggles to, to breathe so that way you don't actually have fogged up goggles. I can see so easily with this thing. It's, it's just so cool. Hi. And of course you can add an accessory like a cowboy hat. And now you're cowboy spot monkey. Howdy y'all, these aren't web shooters, they're lasso shooters. I just go around lassoing pigeons all day. Yeah. Well guys, overall these are some seriously sweet spider goggles. And honestly, there's a whole lot more you can do with these other than just wear them around Disneyland looking cool. You can always use them for cosplay or just party favors or just anything really. They're, they're spider goggles, do whatever you want with them. And the good thing is you don't have to be able to get into Avengers Campus to be able to buy these because it's really hard to get into Avengers Campus. All you gotta do is go to the Studio Backlot store which is in Disneyland, California, but outside of the Avengers Campus and you can grab yourself a pair of these. They are plenty of them and in abundance. But anywho, that is it for the Spider-Man goggles review and stay tuned next for the mini Spider-Bot review. And until then, as always, Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around, and until the next video, peace.